hello everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it so in today's video i'll be showing you how i make my grilled fish and sweet corn with beans very delicious and healthy and very simple to make please do not forget to subscribe and feel free to share my video with your loved one so these are the ingredients i'll be using i have my sweet red long pepper you can also use bell pepper but i like using sweet red long pepper and i have two scotch bonnets because i don't want it to be too spicy because of my kids i don't like spice too much spice food myself so i'm also going to be using one chicken now i'm also going to be using aromant if you don't have aromans you can use salt to taste i'm also going to be using two onions i'll be using one to blend with the peppers and i'll be using one for the beans so this is my beans my honey beans you can use any beans of your choice okay i'm also going to be using vegetable oil this is my vegetable oil i also have my fish this is tilapia and you guys see i've already washed it behind the camera and i cut it as you guys can see i cut it so that when i'm seasoning it it will be well seasoning inside the fish so you can also use any fish of your choice i also have um fresh corn corn on the cups you can use um corn of a uh, tin i think it's called tin or can you can use but because i find fresh corn i say yay let me let me take advantage of that and use it to make the beans you know and i believe it tastes better and is much healthier so yep so my beans have been peeled i mean pig so there's no sand or stone or dirt it's already been picked already that's why i like buying this brand you know this is the brand i use it's already been picked so i'm just going to go and wash my beans So, <clears throat> so as you guys can see i pour it inside a bowl i finished washing it so from here i'm going to pour it inside the pot i'm going to show you how i'm going to do it so this is the beans i'm going to be using my hand to be pouring it inside the, the pot as you guys can see i had water and it's on the cooker already so i'm just pouring the beans So I feel like the water is not going to be enough. So I'm going to add a little bit more. So that is that. So I'm going to allow this to boil till it's nice and soft. Not soft, soft. When it's nearly soft, then we'll add the corn. And this is the water. And the reason why I pour it inside the bowl and I was using my hand to pour it inside the pot is you never know. You never know. There might be sand or stone, but there's none. But just to be on the safe side, that's why I did that. Okay. Okay. So I have my bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil. Sorry, that is leftover. I just remember I have leftover, so I'm going to be using it. So this is my oven tray. I'm going to add my fish. So that is my fish. And I didn't tell you guys earlier 
I, you know I told you guys I've already washed the fish behind the camera and I've already cut it so I season it as well with lemon and salt that is all I use for my salt for my fish sorry that is all I use for my fish lemon and salt I just use it to marinate it and that is all I did so now I'm just using vegetable oil to rub on the fish you know so that I can grill nicely I don't have to rub under the fish because <laughs> by end of the day by the time this fish start cooking it's gonna bring out juice so it doesn't really make any sense so that is that so I'm gonna pop this in the oven so my beans have been cooking now for some time and as you guys can see it's soft you guys see so this is the right time to add the sweet corn because I like my beans really really soft so this is just right time to add the corn and like you can see there's still some water there yep So I'm going to use my knife, take it out, So this is my corn. I'm going to go and pour it in the beans. So I'm going to mix it gently because beans can be very stubborn sometimes. When you over mix it, it will start burning. So I'm going to allow this to cook for about 15 minutes. Yes, 15 minutes. So while it's cooking, I'm going to go and blend the pepper we are going to be using and onions. I'm going to use foil to cover it because you know what happened, guys? This pot I'm using, the lid, it breaks. So I'm just using the foil. So guys, I'm just... Um, cutting my pepper because I'll be using my food um, processor you can use blender if you like but because I don't want to add any water when I'm blending that's why I'll be using my food processor so for it to make the process fast I need to just cut it into a smaller pieces So I'm back on the beans 
the beans is nice and soft this is kind of beans my children like it's nice and soft if you are someone that you don't like your beans to be nice and soft you know when your beans is halfway cooked you just add the corn you know so that everything will be done perfectly you don't have to wait for it to be soft soft like the way mine is now <laughs> it's like a while going the difference is just like the sweet corn but i like it like that because my kids will be able to eat it so i'm going to take it out from the cooker and this is my pan i'm going to pour vegetable oil with this recipe you can also use palm oil or olive oil any oil of your choice okay so i'm going to allow it to get hot and while it's heating up i'm going to go and cut my onions you guys remember i showed two onions i used one to blend with the peppers so this is the remaining one i'm going to go and chop it So two minutes, not two minutes. So one minute after frying my onions, I'm going to pour the pepper. I'm going to add my chicken now. Normally when I'm making beans, I always use the crayfish maggi. But I don't have it, so I'm just going to be using chicken now. And at this point, you can add crayfish, you know, or um, any other seasoning you wish to add, you know, but this is how I want it. So you guys remember we haven't added salt or any seasoning to the beans. So all the seasoning are going to enter this pepper. I'm going to be careful so that when it's, it's ready, when I add it to the beans, I'll taste it. If it needed more, I'll add more. I don't want to add too much and then it'll be too much, you know. So I'm going to allow this to cook for about 10 minutes. So this I've been cooking for the past 15 minutes. So I think it's ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the beans back on the cooker. That's right. So I'm going to pour the sauce so now i'm going to mix everything together that looks beautiful isn't it <laughs> beautiful color i'm going to mix everything together mm, smell good i smell the freshness of the sweet corn this is my first time using the fresh a sweet corn since I came to this country. Normally I use the tin one, you know. Mm, that looks yummy. Let me taste it first. <laughs> I've not tasted it for salt. Mm, can be better. Mm. Oh my days, this is so good. I'm going to add a little bit of aromant. You needed salt. So instead of salt, I'll be adding aromant. If you don't have aromant, you can use salt to taste. Okay. Because aromant contain a lot of salt. That's why when I use aromant, I don't use salt. Okay. Let's taste now. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. Delicious. Can be better. So it's ready and let's check on our fish. I hope you guys haven't forgotten our fish. Okay, that's our fish. 
nice and ready so i left some of the sauce when i was pouring it inside the beans i left some i'm just going to use now to rub on the fish okay just to give it that lovely color flavor <laughs> you know okay so you can make this for maybe special occasion or maybe weekend you know you just want to cook something special for the family special special little way special in your own little way okay look at that what do you guys think about that?